so if you've been watching a lot of self-improvement videos if you've been watching a lot of law of, law of attraction videos or basically you're obsessed with becoming successful right you become you want to become the best version of yourself and you want to become successful along with that now you might have heard of positive visualization visualizations right of visualize i can't say it. <laughs> visualizations right you imagine yourself with what you want and um like uh, you imagine yourself 10 years from now being super rich and like uh, having a good family and that shit will come to you because you've been envisioning it, envisioning it time and time again now honestly like this is a great thing right do positive visualizations as much as you want do positive affirmations as much as you want but there is a practice out there that utilizes that dark energy that a lot of people aren't tapping into to actually propel you to success by seeing yourself fail so a lot of startup companies um, are actually using a stoic method to improve their business and this message message is called pre-mortem and a pre-mortem is essentially seeing what could go wrong before it does go wrong because when that thing does go wrong you will be prepared you will be ready because you've seen yourself go through the hard times and so when you're actually put through the hard times it's light work right because you've already done this so the pre-mortem isn't exactly what i want to talk about but it's similar what i want to talk about today is negative visualization so negative visualization is essentially seeing yourself fail seeing yourself struggle but then um, um like like at the end seeing yourself persevere because imagine if you start a youtube channel right and you don't imagine that anything could go possibly wrong you don't imagine that it could possibly fail and one day in two day in two uh, three days in four days in five days in a whole month in six months in and you've not even cracked a single subscriber do you think that the person who had prepared for this who had told themselves you know what it's okay i don't expect to be successful within six months i've prepared myself to not be successful within six months and so i'm okay if i don't immediately um get monetized or if i don't immediately gain a million subscribers within six months because i've done negative visual visualizations i've seen myself go through struggles i've seen myself record a youtube video edit the youtube video post it getting absolutely zero views i've seen myself go through that and when that thing does happen i'm ready for it and i know that my only re my only possible reaction which is the best reaction is to simply control my mind because that's the one thing i have in my control i can't control how many views a youtube video will get i can only control the fact that i must see it as a positive thing because that's the only way that i will grow as a person so essentially negative visualization is you seeing yourself go through obstacle after obstacle after obstacle because if you jump over a hurdle even in your imagination when you're presented with that same hurdle in real life it'll be an easy jump right like imagine the athlete who visualizes his team missing every p every penalty in the penalty shootout and he's the one that has to step up he's the one that has all the pressure on him and he makes it right he's seen himself go through the hard times he's imagined himself with all this pressure building up on him and when that pressure really hits in real life he's ready for it right he's already imagined every single possible scenario that could happen he's already prepared for every single scenario that could happen and so when they actually do happen in him it's it's light work right hands off the wheel because he's seen himself go through adversity time and time again. So essentially, negative visualizations are an encapsulation of a quote by Ryan Holiday that I absolutely love, which is, we are prepared for failure and ready for success. We are prepared for failure because we've put ourselves through failure by using negative visualizations, but we're ready for success because we know that obstacles are gonna arrive because we've done negative visualizations. We know that we might not succeed every single time. We know that not every single video is gonna get a million views. We know we're not gonna hit our, hit our PR every single time, but we're ready for when we break our PR. We're ready for when that YouTube video pops off because we've put ourselves through hard Shit time and time again and when hard and when shit hits the fans you're ready so it's kind of like same idea as i don't know if you watched it you definitely should um it's a video so this week Tuesday's video but i made a video on how to build true confidence and it's it's basically like you put yourself through the hard times so that when the hard times actually hit you're super confident because you've already put yourself through the hard times by doing hard shit right by doing cold showers and by doing hard workouts when you put yourself through hard shit 
when hard shit happens, you're ready. Like, it's as simple as that. And yet, it's something that so many of us avoid because we're always like, think positive, right? Never look to the negatives. But negative visualization has actually been shown to be more powerful than positive visualization. And when I mean negative visualizations, like, there's kind of two types of negative visualizations. And there's essentially like obstacles where you see yourself facing obstacles. You see yourself not wanting to get up in the morning, but then you get up. You see yourself not wanting to take a cold shower, and then you take it. Basically, you see yourself facing an obstacle and then you see yourself rising above that obstacle so that when that obstacle actually happens well you've done it time and time again so it's just routine for you to hop over the obstacle there's that and then there's like negative visualization as in really negative scenarios like death meditation where you imagine your death or the death the death of a loved one right you imagine your mom on her deathbed the mom the, the hospital monitors are beating and then suddenly flat lines and the drive back home that type of death meditation is really really like it's insanely powerful and it makes you so grateful for the things that you have in life so there's that kind of meditation right like either you overcome an obstacle or um you you see yourself losing someone because then that shit really does make you more grateful and the last thing i want to leave you with is memento mori it's like remember your own mortality remember how fragile your grip on life really is and imagining yourself dying really puts into perspective like every choice every decision how we spend our time it really puts all of that into perspective like it really makes you question those two hours you spent playing video games yesterday or those bunch of gummies that you had the other day it really makes you question all of that so i highly recommend you do that by the way bro i have a self-improvement newsletter so you can go uh, click on my profile click on my bio and there should be a link that says new newsletter click on that sign right up um you'll join the movement and i'm sure i'm sure it'll absolutely change your life hope this helped you and i cannot wait to see the progress that you make cheers bro